Welcome back to The Mix, everybody. I'm Phil Armijo, your master mixologist, and with me, as <laughs> always, your resident lifestyle expert, the lovely Julie Smith. How's it going, everybody? Phil, finally, it is summertime. summertime. <laughs> Living easy. Summer, summertime. Oh, I'm so yes, excited. we're just really excited. How's your summer going? It's going great. The weather has been beautiful, obviously. Everything is in bloom. We've all been waiting to get outside and enjoying everything, but most importantly, enjoying it together, together. with our family and friends. I agree. Yeah. And, and I also love your take on the whole freshness of spring and summer. And we're gonna incorporate that today into our recipe. It's gonna be the Spanish gin and tonic with forged gin. We're gonna use the fever tree aromatic, which can be our tonic for this version of Tried our drink. And, true. and yeah. one interesting fact that I think you're gonna love about our drink at home today, y'all, is that it is customizable. Tell me more about that. Well, so I'll kind of give you the background on a little bit. In Spain, by the way, gin and tonics are like the drink over there, okay? okay. And they call them, you ready for this? <laughs> gin tonics. Oh, that's a stretch. <laughs> so they drop the and, but somehow yeah. dropping just a three-letter word makes it makes sound it. very cool well, and chic. We're gonna treat you with an awesome recipe today. We're gonna do more of the aromatic version of it. So we're gonna okay. do a lemon, a raspberry. <laughs> raspberry, I like and that then, enunciation. I don't know, can you help me out? Can you tell me what time it is? <laughs> Phil, it is time for the dad jokes to be put away. Those are I'm rad kidding. jokes, I'll have you oh, know. Oh, rad joke, my bad. <laughs> Actually, I've been corrected. <laughs> the time is actually a very important part of this recipe, <laughs> and I mean that in all the senses of this time, because it actually brings out the juniper berry, which we love. In the oh gym. yeah. Well, speaking yeah. of juniper berries, you know they are part of the reason why gin is one of the most storied spirits in the whole bar. Okay. So here's how it started. Juniper berries used to be steeped in wine, and that was as a medicinal treatment for just the common cold, right? Right. Uh, that was popular, I think, back in the day. They just kind of threw alcohol at stuff to, you know, to kill yeah. things. That's how it started off as a medicinal treatment, and then it wasn't actually called gin until the early 1700s. Basically, imported spirits were taxed heavily, while the spirits that were made in England, no taxes. So it was a distilling free-for-all. Gin was very cheap, but it was completely unregulated. Throwing in everything from turpentine, fill to sawdust. Turpentine? I'm not kidding. <laughs> that sounds like I'm making it up, I know. But again, completely unregulated. So, so people are literally going insane drinking this and ingesting all of this stuff. That story's literally insane. <laughs> exactly. Oh, That's what yes. was happening, though. What we're gonna use today, we're gonna use all these fresh ingredients that, are, like I said, they're customizable, which okay. is gonna be amazing. Um, but more particular, we're gonna use a specific glass for this because we wanna use all the garnishes possible. That's part of the tradition here in this drink. Okay. Um, you can use something like this, a red wine glass, or I'm sure you're very familiar with the fish bowls. <laughs> I've seen a fish bowl or two <laughs> in my have. day. That's right. That way we have <laughs> room in there for all of these aromatic flavors. And that's what you, you name mean it. by the no customizing. Sauce. Customizing, that's I right. I like that. So it's almost like, so my girlfriends and I, we love a good, for example, a themed party, right? You decorate for the party, you dress specifically for that theme. So you can kind of do the same thing with your drink, yes. or maybe it's your personal preference. Maybe you have a favorite color and you garnish it with everything that yeah, color. Absolutely. I love that. If you go to Spain today, mm -hmm. you can actually buy boxes to customize your own gin and tonic. So we come with juniper berries, uh, cardamom, different types of flowers. Okay. And that way you can, you know, make your own unique arrangement. It's we pretty, should do that pretty, here. Pretty, let's do it. You wanna do it? In the meantime, we gotta go to Spain, but yeah, we'll start that here. Ourselves. So <laughs> I'll start this. You start booking the flights for Spain Done. and look Done. at the, all right, <laughs> deal. This bottle is amazing. We're gonna use Ford's gin. It is a bartender's gin made by bartenders for bartenders. The bottle's ergonomically designed for quick, free, easy access for free pourers oh, nice. like myself. So we're going to add two ounces of this today. Now we know how you do your two ounces. Use <laughs> the jigger. Oh, and by the way, this glass has been chilled, so you wanna keep this chilled all the way up until you make the drink. That way you don't even have to use any shakers at all for this recipe, okay guys? Perfect. Then we're gonna use four ounces of the Fever Tree. Okay, this is the aromatic version. Oh, look, how, it's already beautiful, the, the right. color of it. That exactly. Tree. Then ah, I'm going to <laughs> gently add our ice. And you can add as much as you prefer, half to three quarters. Does that look good to you? It looks, I'm, I'm already grinning and you're not even <laughs> done with it. It's so pretty. I love it. I can't wait to taste it. And next, I'm going to give it a gentle stir. Just a nice little mix in there. Then I'm gonna put some time into this drink. <laughs> 
Oh, Phil, you and your rat jokes. <laughs> this one's for Julie, so I'm gonna make it fancy. Make it fancy. And then I'm gonna put my raspberries in, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna use three raspberries. You can use as many as but you want. But we can do what we want. Yeah, that's right. right. Look at, look at that, how gorgeous it is already, and you're not even done. Not even done. As I drop this in there, I'm just gonna give a little tiny squeeze, nothing look much, you don't wanna overwhelm it. And so. you've really kicked up the botanicals, as we talked about, with the thyme and the raspberry. That's right. And we've got that little kick of citrus with the lemon, so this is totally done. It's ready yeah, to taste. it's awesome. I can't Cheers, wait. you guys. Watch you enjoy. Let's see what we got. Delish. I promise I'm not just saying it. I feel like I say it every time, but every time, <laughs> Phil, this is exactly what I was expecting it to be. Perfectly summertime. It's refreshing, it's not heavy. Um, right. That fruitiness to it is so good, but the time, that gives a little bit of a, an unexpected twist. Right on time. For, it's, right. And it's right on time, you're absolutely right. This is me and my girl sitting outside somewhere, people watching, having these cocktails, and having some laughs, something we've been waiting to do for a long time. People watching, I love people Thank watching. Thank you. My pleasure. Best pastime. I have children already. I don't need children at work. <laughs> Count Dracula. Two, two ounces. Uh, two ah, ounces. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah. Hold on, I gotta go down to the basement to get some more stuff. All right, that's all the time we have today. If you wanna see more episodes or more recipes, please visit us at themixga.com. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe by clicking the link below. Cheers. <laughs>